Hello everyone, welcome to Chrissy's Books. I am your girl Chrissy. Thank you so much for tuning in to my book review for this week. Um, so for this week I have a really beautiful and joyful read and it is My Inner Sky on Embracing Day, Night and All the Times in Between by Mary Andrew. So how sweet is that book? Look how beautiful. So I was in the mood for a total like self-love, self-reflection kind of read and this book definitely hit that spot. Um, I'm also kind of like in love with how beautiful this cover is. It's just so bright and so uplifting. Um, and I want to send a huge thank you to Penguin Books for um, sending me um, this beautiful book last year. Um, it came out in the spring of 2021 um, and it's only fitting that I read it for this spring 2022. Um, so yeah, let's get into what My Inner Sky is all about. My Inner Sky is a collection of essays and illustrations that are divided into four phases of the sky. Twilight, golden hour, night, and dawn. These phases help you to navigate life's unpredictable curveballs. In this insightful and warm book, writer and illustrator Mary Andrew explores all of the emotions that make up a life. While in the process, she offers insights about trauma and healing, the meaning of home, and the challenges of loneliness and finding love in the most unpredictable places. My Inner Sky empowers us to all transform every little thing that's happened to us into something meaningful, um, reassurance that even in the darkest times there's light and beauty to be found. So that is what this uh, beautiful read, nonfiction read, is all about. Um, so stay tuned when I come back I'm going to give you my review and my rating and my song pick for My Inner Sky. <music> Welcome back! So let's get into my review for this gorgeous read. Even the back is pretty. Oh my god, I love it. Um, so first of all, I have to again comment on just how gorgeous this book is. Um, and it's even more beautiful inside because it's filled with all of these fantastic illustrations such as, I'm trying to find one, <laughs> like, like how pretty. So it's sort of like got all these beautiful images on the inside as well it's just a really beautiful book to just have and physically have with you the author is actually the illustrator as well i don't know if i said that already but she's also the illustrator of this book and it's just such a stimulating like book to look at and to read and she's really talented as well she has an eye for color and like drawing and it's just really beautiful the book itself is a collection of essays and i loved how the author had split the book into four main sections so those were twilight golden hour or night and dawn. It's actually quite a clever way to structure a book I think as a writer and as a reader. Each section she delves deeper into what each phase of sky represents for her and also how each phase comes with certain moods um, and I feel like everybody will have like a favorite phase. I definitely have my favorite phase I'm not gonna tell you but it's definitely going to resonate with everyone. It's the kind of book that like will just speak to everyone because everyone will just sort of like be able to relate to a certain aspect of the book or one of the four main phases. I really loved that and I loved hearing all about her life journey, her struggles, her ups and downs, um, and all the little things that kept her going and her passion and her dreams. Um, I definitely feel like Mary Andrews is the kind of person that one could easily relate to. Um, she had a really like warm and easy about her when you read this book 
and like about her life and her journey and i feel like it's just really relatable also what's really fun about this book and the uh, the four phases are you kind of look forward to like reading about the next phase so you're always sort of looking forward to like the next pages and the next pages so um again i just thought that was really clever and i definitely found myself like nodding along to like what she was talking about and like a lot of the sections in this book one of the highlights for me in this book were the beautiful and calming watercolor illustrations that are like trickled throughout the book. This was a really stimulating book to read um, and it's also just a physically nice book to hold and to have. It's a good sized book, like the hardcover is really gorgeous. And when you read this book, it definitely gives you a sense of calmness, peacefulness, hope and beauty. Um, and as a creative person and as an artist myself, I just really found this book very stimulating to look at and to read and to just like you know get into so um i did definitely love that and if you're gonna buy yourself this book get yourself the physical book because it's just so nice to to have and to own and i'll definitely be looking at it like in the future as well the writing style of this book was really easy to read and i felt like the author was like right there in the room telling me her story like you know having a coffee on a lazy afternoon um i also really love that the edit the essays were all short and sweet so like you can pick this book up whenever you want and yeah it just made for like easy reading you know just sort of like a book that you pick up whenever you want um just because they're kind of quite short essays i will also say that this book will really really appeal to travelers to nomadic type of people like myself um, and the author is definitely a fan of solar traveling and I loved that um, I loved that about her in this book um, she takes you on a journey to so many different continents in this book and amazing destinations and I really love that she's like a woman of the world um, and she just kind of like goes where her heart desires um, it's definitely going to give you an itch to travel um, if you haven't traveled in a while or just like makes you want to go and like live in a new country and take up a new dance class or something. So yeah, it's just a very inspiring read to read as well if you love traveling for your solo traveler um, or just kind of like those kinds of books. You're going to love this book. So with all that said, let's get into my rating for My Inner Sky by Mary Andrews. So I gave this book a rating of 9 out of 10. Yes. So 9 out of 10 rating means that this book is an excellent read. It's just so good. It's close to perfection. Um, it has very minimal flaws like... I couldn't really think of any really um, and it was a really hugely enjoyable read and I would definitely recommend this to like everyone it's a very good book to just have and to own um, for sure if I could describe this read with four words I'm gonna read from my notes because I can't remember what my notes are um, <laughs> the first one is pensive um, and that is because this book this book really makes you think about your own life um, and it helps you look inward uh, and it brought new ideas and thoughts about your sort of life choices and past experiences as you're reading it. So yeah, it's just a very pensive book and makes you think about yourself and your life and you know what you want and all that great stuff. The second word is stimulating. Um, it's very stunning, this book. It's very beautiful. Um, it has really, really nice artwork. Um, it's very pleasing to the eye. I mean, I'll show you a picture of the book. It's just so pretty to look at. Um, and I love that um, in within the book, um, all the sort of text and everything is kind of like broken up. And she sort of inserts all these beautiful illustrations within the book. So you never really get bored and it's just something nice to look forward to when you're reading it. Um, and it's just a it's just a good book it's just stimulating it gets the juices creative juices flowing so it's really nice the third word is calming and um, that is because I feel that this book is actually a really great book for sensitive souls um, it's a very peaceful it's very mellow it's a mindful read for sure um, it's perfect for people who are conscious about their mental health as well um, or struggle with mental health and it's very helpful for anxiety and it's actually a really relaxing book to read like if you like want to read it in an afternoon or before bed like I do it's just a really like calming book to own and to have 
And the fourth word, last but not least, is uplifting. Uh, like, it's just, look how cute, how pretty. It's just so uplifting. It's bright, it's beautiful. It's an inspiring read, you know, it makes you feel really hopeful after reading it. That's how I felt. Um, and it helps you look into your own future, but like with a subtle tone to it. Um, and the illustrations are really, really cheerful to look at. Like, it's like looking at like a children's book, but not really. Um, but yeah, you know how you look at a children's book and it's just so happy and joyful. So it just makes you feel really just great after reading it. And lastly, just to wrap up this book review, um, this is really a fantastic book for anyone who's craving some self-reflection, some self-love, some mental health awareness as well. Um, it's great for anyone dealing with anxiety, anyone who has a physical disability as well, or has overcome some kind of difficult injury, anyone who's ever felt like an outsider, um, creative individuals, solo individuals. It's a surprisingly mindful read that sparks your inner self to question everything and to look more inwards. I just thought it was brilliant. I loved getting to know um, Mary Andrews' story and she just sounds like a really nice human being and I feel like we could be friends, Mari. <laughs> um, I highly recommend this book for sure. So down to the fun bit of my book review, uh, my song pick for My Inner Sky. So while I was reading this book, I had one or two artists in my mind that kind of visually represents this book. For this singer that I chose for this book, I knew that I wanted somebody who has a very delicate voice, someone who's quite feminine, um, someone who's a bit quirky as well, and a woman. I wanted it to be a girl. Um, and I feel like this song that I chose definitely like feels like the illustrations in this book and like the essence of this book. Um, so for my song pick, I chose uh, the a singer Feist um, and the song is called Mushaboom, which I'm sure you've heard of because I feel like it's in like every commercial and it's just like a really big song. But I love this song because it just feels really curious. It has like a whimsical feeling to it. Um, and I feel like it's a good song to like draw to or like a good song to like walk and like listen on your headphones with because Mari kind of, I feel like she does that a lot in the book. She'll mention that. She like walks and like listens to music and stuff. So yeah, just a really nice airy, light, you know, feminine song to go with this beautiful book. So that is it. That is my book review. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please leave any comments, anything you want to tell me. Um, like my, my, my videos, please, as well. And subscribe, because I'm a really fun person to follow and I read everything. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and have a fantastic week.